Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. Yeah, so uh, this week, uh, this episode, we're gonna we're gonna title thirteen. Mm-hmm. Lucky thirteen. Uh huh. Thirteen. Yeah. Why thirteen, Deaconess? Oh, because we have a very special psalm, Ooh. Psalm thirteen. Oh, yeah. that we're looking at, and it's a psalm yeah. that uh, people would call a lament psalm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're mm-hmm. not talking about laminating. No, no, we're not doing that. No, no, no. lament. <laughs> it's a complaint. Uh, yeah, we are called to complain to God. I know that's mm-hmm. really uh, kind of interesting to hear from a pastor, right, and a mm-hmm. deaconess, that yep. you are allowed to complain to your God. Mm-hmm. We complain to our God. There are all these lament psalms. And actually what's really sad is none of them, I think, wind up actually in the intro during, uh, during mm-hmm. the church year. Mm-hmm. We kind of avoid them. Because uh, we don't think it's actually a nice thing to do, complain. Mm-hmm. But our Lord gives us the act- the avenue. Uh, he gives us the channel to complain. He gives us the words. The words. To complain. Yes. So lament <laughs> psalm. So we're gonna look at we're gonna look at Psalm 13. But but as far as uh, lament psalms go, they make up the majority of the psalms. Mm-hmm. Depending on how you uh, define lament, mm-hmm. it's like 60 to 80 of the psalms. Yep. That's that is a, that, that, that's a huge chunk. Mm-hmm. A and, huge uh, chunk of the 150 psalms. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, and uh, there's only. There's only seven penitential psalms, mm-hmm. and and we as Lutherans love the penitential psalms. Those are you know like, like Psalm 51, isn't mm-hmm. that one of them? Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep. Um, they're the psalms that we pray when we're asking God to forgive us. Mm-hmm. The psalms of lament are these psalms that uh, were written because someone was uh, wounded, someone mm-hmm. was hurt, someone uh, was really uh, uh, suffering. Uh, enduring uh, an injustice right. committed against him, committed mm-hmm. against her, um, and so uh, a lot of life. Yeah, we uh, we are we are on the receiving end of someone else's sin, and mm-hmm. it hurts mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, praise God that He gives us a voice. You know, He gives us the words to pray when we have been hurt because mm-hmm. of someone else's sin. Yes. So we're going to walk through uh, Psalm 13, right? And there and there are really three parts to. Uh, a psalm of lament. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what's the first part? Problem. Yeah, the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the second part is... Is then prayer. Prayer. When the the petition. This problem. Yeah. Deal with it, yeah. Father. And the third part, which is really remarkable. It is. Because well, it's praise. Praise. Yeah, so these three parts. Uh, mm-hmm. Problem. Petition. Mm-hmm. Praise. Right? That is the flow. Of the prayers of lament. So we're going to look mm-hmm. at Psalm 13. So maybe you want to open up uh, your Bible to follow along. Mm-hmm. So, so that you can see these three parts yeah. play out, right? In Psalm yeah. 13, lucky 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Here we yeah. go, right? So uh, the first part, uh, the problem. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Mm. Okay. What's the problem? Um, It's really open, isn't it? Because all of our problems can fit in here. Because we've all had those moments where it feels like God is asleep. M-I-A. Yep. In a galaxy far, far away. He's on the sidelines and you're getting beat up in the game. And he has better things to do. Mm Mm-hmm. He's he's eating his Twinkies. Oh, man. (laughs) Enjoying his ice cream sundae. (laughs) Or like Jesus with the disciples when Jesus is in the boat and the disciples are shaking him going, Master, don't you care if we drowned? Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is counting sheep and, uh, you know, Peter and company I uh, think they're going down mm-hmm. to the bottom of the Sea of Galilee. Don't you care that we're perishing? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, our, our God does care. But at times, it does feel like, especially when we're going through a tough spot, mm-hmm. um, you know, we're being picked on, mm-hmm. we're facing ridicule, we don't feel like we belong. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just those voices uh, saying, you're not enough. Mm-hmm. You're a nobody. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're unlovable. Mm-hmm. You know, who needs you? Who needs you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. so we, only, only, you know, there's so much in our in our lives mm-hmm. where we can actually get to the point where we these words really mean a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, uh, how long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? Mm-hmm. Am I going to be chopped liver? 
for another couple of years? Come on, mm -hmm. do something. Is something going to change? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long will the status quo be the status quo? <laughs> yeah, and it's really great that, um, so even though our Lord knows our problems, mm -hmm. he wants us to give voice to those problems. Even, mm -hmm. even, even if that problem is, it appears as though God is missing in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. But we don't just complain and just say yeah. the problem. Uh, we bring the mm -hmm. light, uh, the problem, into the light of Christ, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we uh, and then we uh, we 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 petition. We we ask mm -hmm. for uh, for God to do something. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the um, hold it up. Here's the problem. <laughs> and now do something. <laughs> exactly. That's the second part. The petition. <laughs> Uh, here it is, verses 3 and 4 of Psalm 13. Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice, because I am shaken. Mm -hmm. So here uh, the petition is, uh, S-O-S, help, 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 help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And what's really uh, awesome is that we have the certainty that our Father in heaven Mm -hmm. He hears us. Why? Yes. How, how do we know that he hears us? Because um, he's promised to hear us. He's promised he in his son, yeah. Jesus, that he will hear us and answer us. And he's also commanded us. Yes. Right? Pray. I don't think God would command us to pray if he wasn't going to hear us. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I, I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean that, that's just kind of silly if, if God says, I command you to pray. But I'm never going to listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, man. So the um, promise and the command to yes. pray, right? Yes. And especially, you know, uh, going uh, in your direction with the promise. Yeah, I mean, in Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we know we can stand in the presence of the Father mm -hmm. in his house and uh, being dressed up in Jesus. Yes. We get to approach with confidence and boldness. Mm -hmm. And we get to ask him as dear children ask their dear father mm -hmm. to quote the beloved Dr. Marty Luther. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Um, and so we have confidence and boldness yes, to let do. our prayers fly, our mm -hmm. petitions fly, even if it seems as though God is not paying attention. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. Mm -hmm. Or the problem seems too big. Or the for problem God. seems too big. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That, 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 is, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Anything else with petition? Oh, man, with petition. I mean, look at what is going on here in verse 4. He, the the psalmist goes, Lest my enemies say I've prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because yeah. I'm in sh I am shaken. I mean, all of these prayers are in the midst of our enemies, yeah. in the midst of public enemy number one, the devil, who always wants to say you're alone, yeah. um, you're, you're worthless, you don't matter. Um, we might have bullies in our lives or even um, our maybe anxieties or depression. Um, all of those voices, those are really the enemies you can or foes that our psalm talks about. Yeah, and, 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 and really uh, there's nothing we can do. I mean, this is what mm -hmm. the psalmist is really um, getting at is uh, really at the end of his or her rope and mm -hmm. it's, it's time to just mm -hmm. ask for help. Yep. Uh, it's 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 petition time. There's no human solution. Yep. There's only a uh, savior solution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're rubbing off on me with the alliteration. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, one eight hundred uh, C A L L G O D. Right, call God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yep. what prayer is. And it it's is. a life. It's a life. It's a life and death situation. Yeah. It's, it's it's really. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like it's like you know. Um, I feel like I'm going to die here mm -hmm. uh, unless you help me. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's dire, it's yes. desperate. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is this is no child's play. This is mm -hmm. serious stuff mm -hmm. going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we have a serious God. He hears us, and we're so we're, so you're not petitioning into like a void. Right. Uh, all of your prayers, all of your petitions for help. There's a pipeline from your mouth into the Father's ear. Mm -hmm. Yep, all yeah. because of Jesus, who has cleared that way. For us by his living, bleeding, dying, third day rising, and ascending. <laughs> Can't forget the ascension. That, mm -hmm. People forget the ascension. I don't yes. know. Yeah. It's kind of yep. like, you know, running uh, down the field with the football and stopping at the one yard line, <laughs> which does happen sometimes. Guys think uh, they're, they're already there. and <laughs> You're not there. Not there. <laughs> um, okay, so we have uh, the problem, then the petition, and now the praise. Yes. This is really beautiful. Mm-hmm. But I've trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. 
So there's praise. That is the final stage. And it, it's really a stage, a, a chapter that has no end. Mm-hmm. It's what we will be doing for all eternity. Um, yes, because there'll be no more problems. No more problems. No more pain. No, no need to pray for help anymore because, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we, we have been delivered from all evil as we pray in the Lord's Prayer, mm-hmm. right? And uh, what's really kind of beautiful is the flow of the Psalter, the Psalms. Mm-hmm. From Psalm 1 all the way to Psalm 50, you know, the flow really is going from lament and then the final mm-hmm. uh you know s- dozen psalms they're all they're all psalms of what praise praise yep Showing, hallelujah this is the flow of the christian <laughs> life we're coming out of lament into praise uh-huh. coming out of you know tears into cheers coming out of sadnesses into gladnesses coming out of pain into the greatest gain that's the resurrection right on the last day and the and then it's like imitating jesus with the ascension oh, you're right, right? Yeah. yeah he yeah. goes up with a shout yes and we're gonna we're gonna go up out of our graves with a shout Exactly. And we're going to have this praise that has no end because we have a God of resurrection, a God who delivers us from all of our foes, from sin and death and from the power of big bad wolf Satan. It's beautiful. It is. So uh, so we know that uh, that praise is the final word. Mm-hmm. It really is. And it's a word that has no end. We will yeah. praise without end. Um, but even now, we, we get to actually praise. It's like yeah. an anticipatory praise. Mm-hmm. It's like a mm-hmm. pre-gaming praise. It is. It is. And it's it's kind of fascinating. I mean, uh, as we're talking, I'm thinking of, I don't know, like a football game. And uh, oh, yeah. there's all these, fu- your team's fumbling, and there just was an interception. Quarterback got sacked. All, you know, everything's falling apart. But what we have with this anticipatory rejoicing this pre-gaming is like all of those things are happening on the field with our team and our team looks a wreck but we know that we will win we have the trophy we're going to have uh the the win at the end of the game and so our cheerleaders we we get to be cheerleaders already going we win the game even though right now it kind of looks not so great (laughs) the quarterback just Fumbled. <laughs> we know where it's all going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to get you know uh, a Super Bowl ring. We're going to get the uh, the crown of uh, glory, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, Psalm thirteen. Uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful psalm of mm-hmm. lament. It uh, is because it, you really see the the flow from problem to petition to praise. Yeah. Yeah. Problem, petition, praise. Problem, petition, praise. Problem, petition, praise. And one day the problem and the petitioning will go Mm bye-bye and there will be only praise, unending praise to this God who came, who saw, who conquered, right? Yes. (laughs) Weni, weedy, weechy. Throwing some Latin, right? (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Yes. Okay, my dear friends. It's great. It's great to be back. It is. We've had uh, quite the summer. Mm-hmm. It's been fun. Yes, it has yeah, been. Yeah, lots of travel. Mm-hmm. Lots of world travel for me a little bit. <laughs> well, just uh, down the Caribbean, but there we oh, go. Oh, man. That's why I'm wearing this, Woo! right? Yeah. It's my Caribbean coat. Nice. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, by his wounds. We are healed. Yep. Until next time, dear friends. Juice. Bye-bye. <laughs>